Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to episode 4. I'm Nobody, and I'm taking you through Flying Battery Zone again! So, if you were privy to my Sonic 3 and Knuckles Let's Play, you are very well aware that Flying Battery Zone was a pain in the rear end for me. And, uh... <laughs> oh, God. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the thing? The Sonic Mania stage is... Fix some of the problems that I had with it, but that doesn't make it easier. <laughs> like, for example, one of the big things that I've noticed now is the flame shield does not protect you against explosions. Which kind of sucks. But I mean, hey, I can't really do anything about it, so... I guess you're just taking away one of the huge functions of the flame shield. Which I really liked. I admit it, I'm butthurt. I like the flame shield. I like the fact that it protected me from explosions. I don't know many people who didn't. But, with that, they added the ability for the ma uh, lightning shield to magnetize you. So, I got one wish. I uh, unfortunately did not get the wish that lets me jump over that box successfully. Sad face. Nope. 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 That was not a box, that was a spike ball. So, as you might immediately notice, the layout for Flying Battery, the first act is already different. Which, not that that's bad. But it is definitely different. It kept a lot of the main points that you might remember, just if you're remembering Flying Battery right off bat. But it's missing a lot of the... Uh, or it's either changed or revamped a lot of the uh, other areas. Or a lot of the other areas that aren't necessarily really big committed into people's memory. Like, you're always going to remember the opening of Flying Battery Zone. You're always going to remember the part with the, uh... This. You're always going to remember this. But you don't remember him shooting here, do you? I don't. I remember him all shooting back here. But I also remember three rows of him shooting. So, hey, maybe I'm nuts. I also only remember one of these particular types of areas. And this is what I remember. See, there are three rows. And now we go down the long fall, hit that checkpoint, and then we're at the boss. But wait, this isn't a boss that I've ever fought. So the object of this boss is every time it's going to scatter for a bit and then it's going to summon a random creature. I think it's always the same thing, but it's going to pull a bunch of parts out of the ground and it's going to make creatures out of them. And it's going to send them at you. Every time you destroy one, the arena is going to get a little bit smaller and the ground's going to get a little bit higher, which means you're going to soon be able to hit the machine. And that's how you defeat it. But you're kind of on a time limit, because you will be crushed eventually. Hi, Tails, man, the motobug, because he's not old enough for fame. Thank you, random spider droid thing. Oh, that intro is so cool. So yeah, you'll instantly recognize this part of Flying Battery Zone Act 2. But does this look familiar? It's all new. And really weird. And what happens if I go over here? Oh yeah, that's right. That's where this is. All right. Time for round two. No! Round two. 
was not pleased. So yeah, I found that ring over there. Just kind of on a whim too, it was really cool. Made me feel, ooh, hello, what's down here? Oh. <laughs> Whoops! I wonder. I bet that ring is taken, but I wonder. It might be worth it to take a look at it again. Sure, why not? Yep. It was worth a look, though. All right. We're going to go this way. And now we're going up. And now we're going this way. See, so, yeah, this is pretty fun. These are really, really interesting. So you want to get... You want to avoid these things because every few minutes or so, they're going to power up these coils and then they're going to destroy themselves. Or they're going to shoot an electric signal down whichever two coils have lit up. If you pass through it, you will be damaged. And being damaged is not cool. Also, dying is not cool either, but I mean... I'm not your mom. You can die if you want. No, seriously, don't. Don't, don't die. Dying isn't cool. Yeah, buddy. I'm invincible. Can't hurt me now. Fire probably can. Shuttle! Uh, I really hope that we find another large ring. Hey! That was helpful! Hey look! Outside! I don't like the outside. Damn it. No. All my rings. Hello. I'm invincible. Hey, 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 special ring. <sighs> I wonder if I can get up there again. I want that special ring. Tails, carry me. Tails, carry me. Hmm, I wonder. Ugh, I almost got it. Hey, you know what? It's not worth it. I'll find another one somehow. But at least I know it's there. For 
possible other times I might need to go through here. Shit. Oh, crap! What's in here? Um... Okay. What's over here? Trash. And more trash. We will take all of this. It will all be ours. And I'm not dying here. Dying is not manly. So now we come to Spider Boss. Spider Boss fires three electric blasts at you, and then Spider Boss kind of just chills. The object is to throw Spider Boss into the spikes. How do you do that, you ask? Well, there's a few ways. That's my favorite. And you can do that as many times as you possibly can. Hell, you can even knock it into the spikes without spinning into the thing, like we're going to demonstrate now. You just have to spin dash. Honestly, if you can hit it fast enough, you can actually keep it in a perpetual state of being stunned. But you have to hit it fast enough and hard enough. Which is a lot harder to do than it sounds. Also, supposedly a lot of people think that looks like a girl. Eggman, which I don't see, but whatever. Oh, you bitch. You bitch. I mean, I guess if that's what you want to picture it as. Damn it! Redo! I did not have this much trouble last time. Why? Yeah, okay, I'm a liar. So interestingly enough, this boss fight is actually really, really interesting. It sparks some type of online, if you haven't heard about this, if you look at the sprite of Eggman, it's upside down. Well, apparently someone had noticed that Eggman is upside down. Or apparently someone had misinterpreted what the sprite was supposed to look like. And instead of seeing Eggman upside down, they thought they saw Eggman's niece. And I think her name is Egget, and apparently the fan base really likes her now. So, if there comes a Sonic Mania 2, so, yeah, if you hit him fast enough, you can take care of him pretty easily. There's gonna be an Egget, by the way. This is post commentary. Hi, past me. But, uh, again, you have to hit him fast enough. Ugh, come on. Come on. Come on. Stay down. Yeah. Taking care of. For once. Hey, wait a minute. Get back here. No one said you could escape. Well, guys, that's it for episode four. I'm sorry that took so long. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Till then, peace.